Joe Joyce, Ian Grieve in there, driving it on for this Bristol Park, who had a good win against Aberavon in midweek in the BNI Cup. They're driving it on, but Gala standing firm at the moment, and that has been the difference. They're not going through them as Gala just holding up, standing firm, but Bristol then get the ball out the far side, trying to sneak round. Oh, and that's missed tackles from Gala, and the ball just shipped out, and that's the, I think that was the far side winger. Was that Andy Short, I think, was the man that took the ball on. In fact, it was Ryan Edwards that took the ball on, and he just danced his way down that far side, 22, and uh, really, that's just bad, bad tackling from Gala. 12 minutes to go until half-time. At the moment, Gala 3, Bristol 5, a penalty from Deborah Hagen. He decided to kick for it, but here we are inside the Bristol 22 at the moment, and O'Hagan lining up his second penalty of the afternoon. Has it gone across the face of the post? In fact, it's OK. That's a very difficult win that they're kicking into, but David O'Hagan has landed his second penalty of the afternoon. Again, the ball just rattling about in that scrum picked up though. Here comes Ross Roberts who puts a high one into there. Graham Spears. Oh, Graham Spears has missed and he's misjudged that. And that's going to be an easy try for the winger, Andy Shaw. That's just criminal and cruel on Gala. Graham Spears, he just slid on his backside. And I don't think Andy Short could believe it. Gathers the ball in, in for a second try. And Gala defending along their own try line at the moment. Ball comes back along the line. Oh, and Ian Grieve right through the middle and that again is a missed tackle and Ian Grieve crashes over it's Gala 6 it's Bristol 15 that ball goes over conversion goes two points on the board now for Bristol so that makes the halftime score of Gala 6 Bristol 17